Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back as we continue with our journey to complete Ark Survival Evolved. Previously I asked you guys in the comments if you've got any good ideas on how to farm some rare flowers and a few of you suggested that I should tame up a Morella Tops and go harvest some from around one of the obelisks. I can't remember if you said the red or the green so there was a few of you down there saying look out for some flowers around the obelisks. So I'm going to go and try that and uh, we'll have a look for a high level Morella Tops. While I'm out and about I'm also going to keep my eyes out for a Phyla Collio or another dire wolf which would be quite handy we tamed this one up before it's got some reasonable stats and i plan to use a pack of wolves in order to gather cementing paste if any of you guys watched my tutorial on how to gather cementing paste and some great ideas at that i mentioned at the end of it that i am on scorched earth and because we can't get the snails on scorched earth i'm gonna have to think of another way in order to gather lots of cementing paste so the plan was to tame an equus and the saddle of the equus actually has a mortar and pestle in it and it takes a reduction an 80 percent 80 percent reduction on stone chitin and cement in paste so i was thinking that in combination with a pack of wolves is going to get us a lot of polymer and a lot of cement in paste out in the desert course we'll probably have to worry out for the uh, death worms but that's still the plan so I'm gonna get another wolf and we'll uh, try and get another high level wolf and breed up a pack of wolves and go out farming cement in pace that way because in order to do some of the higher end gear like the industrial forge and the chemistry bench I'm gonna need it so we uh, we're gonna have to do that and uh, if I can see a dire wolf out and about on our journeys today we're gonna pick one up and just keep our eyes out for a decent level Morella Tops. One just here. Wow. Hey, a 140 straight away. Fantastic. Just get rid of the saber that's trying to eat it. So this will do nice. We'll give this a go. Yeah, 140. So now if I can find another one now if I can aggro this one over here and then they'll both come at me and I find often the easiest way to tame these guys is to get two of them on you so I know in the first episode I tamed up a low level one knocked it out with a boomerang I believe but it didn't last very long I didn't even move it from the rock where I tamed it for it so Where's the... Ah, oh, it's scarpered into the distance. They were both supposed to be aggroing on me. So that was a 75. Okay, well, let's go and catch up with this 140. That's almost dead. It has taken quite a knock. There it goes. Okay. Well... Unfortunately, it's just got into a fight with an RG and a Scorpion, and it took quite a knock. So, right, let's get rid of this Fawny Dragon, just in case it aggroes on it. As you can see, I'm also suffering from heat stroke. Something that's all too common when you don't pump any fortitude on Scorched Earth. Like I stupidly did. And consequently, we're drinking quicker than an Irishman on St. Patrick's Day. Wherever you go around the world, you'll find an Irish pub. Hopefully, this Morella Tops solves all of our problems. There we go, that's our Morello Tops. And it fully healed itself on taming. Okay, well, let's not waste any time. Let's get this packed up and we'll head over to one of the obelisks. 
think we're quite close to the red obelisk, so we'll we'll give that a try. See if we can finally find some rare flowers. I'm of course going to need rare flowers as well for when we do the giant bee tame, because I'm going to need honey in order to make the kibble. So we've got to find flowers somewhere, somehow. And this heat stroke, I can barely see anything. I'm blind. Okay, well, there's plenty of flowers around here. And now I'm looking for the red flowers, I, I believe. But let's give it a try. There are some ruins around here as well. I could go over on the Morella tops and uh, get a level buff. Uh, I'll just keep Devil on follow, just in case anything comes for us. Okay, well, let's see what we get. Fifteen minutes later. Nah, nothing. I have been hunting. I'm going to keep these seeds because we're going to have to start getting our greenhouse on the go anyway. Um, not that I can't grab them with the, uh, the Anki, but so far, no flowers, no mushrooms. No, nothing. And I've been going for a good 15, 20 minutes. It's going to get dark soon as well. So I'm going to head over to the green obelisk and give it a try over there. So I'm not seeing any of the red flowers. Right, well there's plenty of these purple flowers here. Let's give things a go over here. That species, why? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything pop up on the left hand side there. I'm going to keep on pumping melee damage because we get more back per hit then. Greater chance of coming across a rare flower or a mushroom. Aha, there we go. A rare flower. Okay, well that's one. I guess I'm going over the purple flowers. So... And another, and we got a rare mushroom as well that time. Well, we're getting somewhere. That's the important thing. Let's persevere with this, get a few more levels and see what see what we can get. Okay, here comes a sandstorm. Right, I'm just gonna put a tent down and set up a camp. We'll just land devil. A lot easier to see with the desert goggles when this happens. Okay. Let's get you over here. Well, we'll just have to wait it out. And then back to farming. Eventually. Okay, well. That's 26, so we've got enough to do a mind wipe tonic. I've also got some rare mushrooms back at base, so I've got enough resources to be able to make that recipe. And yeah, the Morello tops at the green obelisk is definitely the way to go. I've noticed I've started pumping a few levels into melee damage and I'm getting more rare flowers back, so it's just a case of taking a really good level dino down here. Now, usually I name my dinos after my patrons but in this case I'm gonna call her flower because that's basically all this dino is getting used for is for gathering rare flowers but uh, I will need to get some more because we're gonna have to tame one of the giant bees in order to get honey so but most importantly I finally got enough flowers 
to actually reset my stats which means I might not have to drink every two minutes fantastic okay let's get back to base well killing two birds with one stone here on the way back stumbled across a level 145 female wolf and I'm pretty sure it was a male wolf and a female phylo so yep male wolf so another high level wolf and that's just what I needed hopefully we can get our wolf pack on the go we'll get this knocked out and we can in the next episode think about taming that equus which is the horse and seeing if gathering cementing paste in the desert with that combination of oh okay I've lost my gun well if I'm gonna lose it anywhere this is the best place to do it I've totally not been looking at my kit to see whether it needs repairing I'm gonna have to make some more trank arrows I'm running low on them um, but hey we've got flour now and she can gather narco berries although the Yankee's been doing all right for narco berries not too bad at all um, I'll just craft some more bullets up because I know I'm gonna need trank darts now I could use the trank arrows on this wolf now that it's in the pen but the problem is I find more often than not you end up killing them before you trank them they just take too much damage Oh, you don't want to do what I'm doing and miss your shots <laughs> okay right well let's just knock her out Okay, so we got our male and female wolf and we're going to experiment with a little bit of basic breeding and I'm just going to show you their stats. Now, the female is the better of the two. She was the 145. Health, 264.3. Stamina was over 1,000. Melee at 350. And as you'll note on the male, which was a 135, I believe, he has identical health slightly less stamina and melee well we could do with her melee at 350 but I'm not even gonna breed for a perfect pair or anything like that I'm just gonna try and do five or six wolves and try and get a full imprint now, it might be difficult because they might ask for kibble or something that I don't have from the vegetable garden but if they ask for berries walks and cuddles we'll end up with hopefully a half decent pack of wolves and we can experiment perhaps next episode with the horse and experiment with the cementing paste idea uh, looks like we've got a storm coming in so I'm gonna get some stuff together while we're breeding these things up and uh, get some materials ready to perhaps build a greenhouse we need to get our veggies started and finally we can get our mind wipe tonic made Here's the ingredients we're going to need. It was the rare flowers and mushrooms that were quite hard to come across in the end. Okay, finally. And I didn't think that was going to craft up for a little while. I dropped some fibre in there thinking it might need it, but it didn't use it. So it took just over a minute, I suppose, to craft this recipe. So just needed to give it a little bit of time. Okay, well, let's consume the Rockwell recipe, resetting all of our stats. Perhaps this time we'll redistribute them properly. So firstly, fortitude. Previously, I like to get to 22 on fortitude, although I might chuck one more point in there. I know that 22 in fortitude was enough to get into the overseer boss arena and not suffer the deep rough when I had an otter as well as fair clothing. Health-wise, not really as bothered on health one stat I'm not going to be pumping anything into is crafting skill or melee damage. Movement speed, a lot of people do like to pump quite a lot of movement speed. And remember I'm pumping my stats for PvE, not PvP. So I don't need 
any melee damage. Weight, however, I like to have a lot of weight. That's my most important stat. I'm going to try and get that up to 500. I suppose health is not so important, but when you do start draining health, it does help to have a little bit more. But when it comes to gathering resources, the more melee damage you have, the quicker you destroy the object. So if I get a chainsaw and I go harvesting for hide and I've only got no points stacked into melee damage, then I get a considerable amount more resource back from that particular thing. So that's why I don't bother pumping melee damage. It's only any use if I get into a fight with a raptor or a capro. Most of the time I have a shotgun. Okay, so we've been breeding some wolves and let me show you how we managed to do. So bearing in mind we've got no farm or kibble. Uh, this particular wolf asked for kibble straight away so we didn't manage to get anything good on that one. But the rest of them we managed to get an 83% imprint. Haven't pumped any points into them. And if we go and check these last two out, if I was actually going for mutations, I would have used these two as the pair, as they both got the, the good stats from the, the mum on this one and this one that came out that says 215. So, and of course, because we've put imprint in, that's changed that to above 400%. But I'm hoping that we pump a few levels into these guys and they're going to become really useful at gathering polymer and cementing paste. In the next episode, I'm going to have to tame up the Equus and we're going to give that new method a try. So, really happy with how that one turned out. We've now got a set of pack of wolves. And before we get away today, I want to start building my greenhouse. I want to get some veggies down at the very least. I have been crafting some greenhouse panels while we've been doing a bit of breeding. And I actually want to see whether these crop pots get irrigated when they're this far back and it does say it's got water I was hoping they would now underneath these foundations and there's also some walls coming up from there there's loads of out pipes for water so I was just hoping that it stretched back a couple more foundations so I could put the greenhouse back and it does so now that these are fully irrigated, we're going to stick six large crop pots down, get our veggies on the go. It should all work out well. Okay, so while I've been breeding and trying to get some imprints on these wolves, I've also managed to get a little bit of the greenhouse materials we need together and I should have enough to complete something simple. Like I say, on scorched earth, this stuff's really expensive. Hopefully now we've got our wolf pack, and if we can get an Equus, we will end up getting cement and paste a little bit easier than we have been. So, nothing as fancy as what we did on the island this time. Just your, your simple everyday greenhouse. But the greatest thing about this greenhouse is the fact that it works and you can't see the pipe work. That's what I'm most proud of about it. That's what's taken me the longest to do. Ah, oh, Ark. If only they made like a half pipe. And you know, I think I've gone, I have, I've gone one too far. I didn't intend to go this far, so I've just used an extra four panels of glass, which means, oh dear, I'm not going to be able to complete it. I'm going to have to go and farm some more resources, unless, well, I can pick these, these ones up. But these other two, it'll probably make me demolish. Oh, it does. Ark, if you're actually watching, if you can change that to three minutes instead of 30 seconds that would be so much so much more helpful it wouldn't break the game to do that would it <laughs> oh, okay well
suppose we'll make it one longer and I can still get the roof on so the plants will get the green house effect but yeah I went, I went one too far unfortunately maybe I'll put a door in here as well could put some steps going up and put a door there maybe have a different way of coming in from that level okay we managed to finish off our greenhouse build and our veggies are all growing fine everything's irrigated everything's getting 300 percent greenhouse efficiency so it won't be long until we've got plenty of veggies and i'm probably going to need some veggies in the next episode in order to grab an equus we're going to need some carrots and we can give my wolf pack and equus combination a try in the next episode we'll get ourselves some cementing paste and, and give that a go we also need to think about getting a giant bee as well we're also going to need honey that way we have our kibble farm completely up and running don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the art content from myself but until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you